everybody. It is Friday, October 16th. How's everybody doing today? Well, if you haven't seen my weigh-in video yet, please go back and look at it. Boy, I look a mess today. Um, don't care, really. <laughs> Not today. Uh, anyway, um, I'm on my way to the grocery store. But first, I'm going to stop at AAA because I keep getting a tire, check the tire pressure message. Uh, several days in a row now, so uh, it's probably just the variance in the temperatures, but uh, I just want to make sure. Anyway, uh, today I started the green plan. So I had what I needed for my breakfast, but I need to run to the store before I prepare my other meals. I have most things at home, but there are just a few things I need. And, um, and then I'm going to go home and I got plenty to do at home. I got to put my jars away that I canned yesterday. I got to find room for them. And at some point this weekend, I'm going to run and get apples. Unless there's apples on sale at the store. I'm going to run out to the orchard and uh, get some applesauce made. Because I do use a lot of unsweetened applesauce. I do remember that. And, uh, and then I'm going to make, I think, one, one batch of apple butter and really I, I give the apple butter away as gifts at, around the holidays and that's why I'm doing the apple butter because I love apple butter but I don't eat it if I can find a good unsweetened or you know unsweetened recipe I might do it that way but people I give the gifts to like the sweet and stuff plan. I have a couple gifts that I'm going to make other that's not cooking related. Uh, that or at least I'm going to start over the weekend. At some point I need to get my laundry done. Uh, and, and my son has offered for me to go down there to do laundry. But you know he's an hour away and uh, it's less that I get done at home with when I go down there. Almost time to start decorating for Christmas. I know some of you are probably saying, oh, no, don't do that. November 1st is fast approaching. I went to my poll worker training last night. Um, found out I'm going to be working the table for the provisional votes. So I could be busy. I could be bored. I don't know. We'll see. They are giving us all a lot of protective equipment so in, in making the voting process as no contact as possible. So, and I'm, you know, we'll have gloves and everything too, so. And I was going to go to AAA and I came straight. Well, I'll stop on the way back. Anyway, I am, uh, excited about trying this green plan now. Uh, like I said yesterday in my video, I was most successful on the Old Points Plus program. I got out my old cookbooks and stuff, and I was going through them thinking, why, why did I stop making this stuff? You know, I remember when I was on Points Plus, that's when things got it started getting real rocky with Joe's health. And uh, so, and I retired during that time. So, um, we started to travel a little bit more often. I mean, we didn't go out of the country or anything, but, you know, we would travel to see our kids a little bit more often. And uh, so we were eating out more often, and that's when things started going south for me on that plan. But when I was cooking at home, and I, I know Joe really loved the stuff I was cooking on, on the Points Plus program, too. A couple recipes I'm looking for that I could not find. There was in the starter book for Points Plus. And if any of you have this, I would just love to see the recipe because I don't re really remember it. There was a chicken parmigiana meal that was seven points. Either seven points or nine points, but I think it was seven. And there was a, a marinated flank steak recipe. And it was uh, marinated with mustard. So 
uh, I would love to see those two recipes if any of you have those. But I do remember that my menu plans were much more diverse and I didn't get bored. So most of the point values on the Points Plus program are the same as the green plants. Some things have changed. There are a few food items that are more points and a few items that are less points. But um, for the most part, the plans match up. Uh, the recipes that I pulled out for my weekly menu I've put, that I'm going to make, I put into the recipe builder on the app so that that's all ready to go. So I think my prep prep work is pretty well done other than doing this grocery shopping and uh, I think we're going to be good so like I said I'm excited about doing this I, I know a couple other people that are on the green plan so uh, at least at my church there's three of us now to commiserate with <laughs> shorts when I walked out here and now I had to put a coat on it's amazing how quickly this weather it's a beautiful day but it, the temperature is cold so but you know a gorgeous crisp fall day you know in any other respect tire pressure is still on and usually by now if it's just a temperature thing it'll go off so it's been doing this for a few days now I noticed the other day when I was at church it was doing it and by the time I got home it went out but uh, so I'm thinking I have two other tires that I think I'm going to have to replace before winter sets in stick today and I'm going to show you what I'm eating now on the green plan and uh, I think I got a pretty good menu selection today so when I was writing my plan I, I kept thinking you know why did I what, why did I stop doing this and I don't know about the time I was getting back you know we I remember we had a summer where we were out you know, my daughter had moved to Idaho and we traveled out there and out to Oklahoma and stuff. And and I had put on a few pounds during that time. Not much, I remember that, not much. And by the time I got the ball rolling again with uh, the Points Plus program, they changed to Smart Points. Which, you know, it was an easy transition for me, but um, a lot of my menus changed at that point for some reason. And I can't even tell you why. Uh, I feel like for the first time in a long time, I'm getting excited again about doing the this plan. I tried it, if you remember, I tried it um, last fall or maybe even after the first of the year. It was, no, it was in the spring. I, you know, kind of tried the green plan again. And for some reason, I had a hard time wrapping my head around it. Uh, you know, making that change from 23 points to 30 points and just getting used to counting everything and it wasn't a good fit for me at that time. Right now I'm feeling mentally and emotionally ready to make this change because I've been hovering around this weight, the same weight for a year now and uh, I'm ready to move on. Uh, And during this whole pandemic thing, you know, I've put on about 15 pounds. And, you know, I haven't tried to conceal that from you guys at all. And uh, I feel thankful it's only 15 pounds because I have heard other people 
that have put on much more than that. And then again, I know people that have lost, like Sandy. <laughs> She's beat me to that 100 pound mark. I mean, I'm happy for her. I, I, I just when I give you the raspberry, Sandy, but I'm happy for you. Um, anyway, I, I just feel ready to start moving on now. And uh, so I'm looking forward to this, this uh, new adventure. And I've gotten, a, you know, some really nice comments after my video yesterday of people that are on green that did the same thing. They kind of stagnated out on the blue plan and switched to green and got to their goal. So I'm, uh, I'm hopeful that that's going to have the same effect on me. But as you know, no plan is better than the next plan. And it, everything depends on how you work the plan. So and that's why I'm coming to the store today because I plan to work the plan. Anyway, I just got to the Kroger parking lot, so I'm going to go ahead and get in, and there's one right up close. I'm going to take this one and get my grocery shopping done. And So let me show you my food, and then I'll be back to wrap things up. Okay, well, my breakfast on this Friday morning, remember, I switched to the green plan today. So I have one uh, Thomas Original uh, English muffin that I trimmed to 51 grams for three points. If I would have kept it, it would have been four points. So three points in the English muffin, and then uh, two tablespoons of PB2 uh, divided among that. One point for the PB2, 89 grams of blueberry, no, of banana, and 70 grams of blueberries. That's zero points. And then uh, this is my second cup of coffee. There's one tablespoon of uh, the Aldi fat-free half and half, the countryside creamery half and half in this cup. I had one in the other cup, so but still zero points on the coffee. So my breakfast, uh, one, two, three, four points for breakfast. And this is all green plan points now. For lunch today, I'm just having a turkey sandwich. Picked up some bagel thins at the store today I wanted sandwich thins but they didn't have any uh, same point value this is three points um, for the bagel thin I have a t tablespoon of Miracle Whip light on there for one point my uh, two ounces of turkey breast is one point and I have a cup of grapes so I have a five point lunch today this takes me to nine points for the day dinner tonight is I've got a salmon filet it weighed out at two and seven eighths ounces that's two points on the green plan. Uh, I got some of my home canned green beans. My potato weighed out at five and a quarter ounces for four points. I have uh, five grams of butter on there for two points, two tablespoons of fat-free Greek yogurt for zero points. So I have a seven point dinner according to the app. So one, Five, six, seven. Yep, seven point dinner. This takes me to 16 points for the day. I have 14 points left because I am now on the green plan. Well, I ended the day with 20 points. Um, I showed you everything except for um, after dinner tonight, I had a snack, a little treat really, of um, a Weight Watchers fudge bar which was four points. So that took my total to 20 points for the day. So I've got some points to roll over for tomorrow. So, so far so good. Um, day one on the green plan went really well for me. So uh, that's gonna wrap it up for me today. I am kind of tired, so hoping maybe I can finally get to bed at a decent hour and get some sleep tonight. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, Saturday, so I will try to show you everything I'm eating tomorrow. And uh, so I'll be back tomorrow. You guys have a great night. Bye-bye.